While the election officials, the media, and the internet monopoly insist there's no voter fraud, at the same time, they're frantically working to keep us from seeing it. When Judge Janine planned to expose the massive election corruption on her show, Fox News suspended her. Then Fox actually censored the White House press conference, which provided extensive evidence of election fraud. We want every legal vote to be counted, and we want every illegal vote to whoa, whoa, whoa. be... I, I just think we have to be very clear. She's charging uh, the other side of welcoming fraud and welcoming illegal voting. Unless she has more details to back that up, I can't in good countenance continue showing you this. Breaking news. People are leaving Fox News in droves. They are in shock that someone had the audacity to question them to disobey their decree. Remember, just because CNN says, or even Fox News says that somebody's president, doesn't make them president. So I think everybody what? wants to know that this was done properly mm. and legally. What is happening? We like, Trace, we've results. called it. And I think we have to look into every one of these concerns. I know this may come as a surprise, but the media doesn't have the authority to call an election. What? And when there's a dispute, we will follow the legal process all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court. What? And once we submit the overwhelming evidence of systematic voter fraud, all we have to do is count to five. What? Watch Joe Biden promise not to declare victory until the votes are certified. President Biden, final question for you. Will you urge your supporters to stay calm while the vote is counted? And will you pledge not to declare victory until the election is independently certified? Yes. While those who have witnessed the attempts to steal this election continue to report it, the heart of the widespread systematic voting fraud is with the electronic voting machines owned by this globalist. As I wrote about in a heartbeat away, the man who controls the voting machines is linked to leftist billionaire George Soros. He's chairman of his board. A key executive of the company is Nancy Pelosi's former chief of staff, a major shareholder Diane Feinstein's husband, making Dominion voting machines heavily promoted by the Clinton Foundation. Well, at least they're all working together. Oh, it's also the same company credited with the last minute glitch where all the votes suddenly went to Venezuelan dictator Hugo Chavez. Wow, they really are all working together. Here's a fun fact. Guess what happens when you type in Antifa.com? Yep. It takes you right to the Biden campaign. Wow, they really are all working together. These Democrat Dominion machines just happen to be the ones used in 28 key states, including Arizona, Michigan, Nevada, Wisconsin, and Pennsylvania. And these machines come with some customized features, excuse me, glitches, that can both add huge blocks of votes to the Democrat, while the Republican gets none, and flip votes from the Republican to the Democrat. Here's proof, beginning with Kentucky, where 560 votes were flipped from Republican Matt Bevin to the Democrat. So here we are before the update, and now I'm going to start walking you forward. Watch the goal. Here comes the update from Clarity. So, there it is. Let's look at Matt Bevin. He now has 661, 675. But look down below. He did have 660. 235 at the exact same second that Andy Bashir has gone up 560 votes, Matt Bevin has gone down 560 votes. You just saw the Democrat Dominion machines flip votes from one candidate to another. But take a look at what they did in Michigan. In this round of updates, 138,339 Biden votes were added without a single person in the state of Michigan voting for Trump. Statistically impossible. It's like flipping a coin 138,339 times in a row and getting heads every single time. <laughs> the Democrats say, we're the crazy ones for questioning it. Well, let, let's find out. Remember, I've got to get heads. 138,339 times in a row. Heads, it's a good start. Heads, maybe the Democrats were onto something. Let's check it out. Oh, I'll keep trying. Well, this wasn't enough. In Antrim County, ballots were counted for Democrats that were meant for Republicans, causing a 6,000 vote swing against our candidates. 
The county clerk came forward and said, tabulating software glitched and caused a miscalculation of the votes. Since then, we have now discovered that 47 counties use this same software in the same capacity. Antrim County had to hand count all of the ballots, and these counties that use this software need to closely examine their results for similar discrepancies. Well, now another VoteSwap glitch has been discovered in Wisconsin, bringing back 19,500 votes to President Trump, removing Biden's lead. Here's another vote swap glitch caught on camera in Pennsylvania. 19,958 votes switched from President Trump to Joe Biden in one minute. Watch in real time President Trump's totals go down. Here's the first time we see Pennsylvania on the screen with Trump at 1,690,000. In a second, we'll see Pennsylvania back up on the screen at 1,670,000. As election results are tallied, the totals naturally go up, unless you're using a Democrat Dominion voting machine. And there it is. Nearly 20,000 votes stolen from President Trump right in front of our eyes. Here it is, side by side, with evidence of the nearly 20,000 Trump votes removed. Then there was another voting machine glitch in Georgia. I could go on, but you get the idea. Former NSA intelligence officer Bill Binney had this to say about the so-called voting machine glitch. Things that they're calling glitches in software that are uh, randomly changing only certain votes, they're not glitches at all. Those are, programmed, uh, those are programmed into the software. It's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. If there's a problem in software, we call those bugs. If the bug is, a, is in the software, it does everything consistently with everything, not just selectively picking things. If only certain things are selected, picked, and changed, that's not a bug. That's designed in the software. That's intention. No, the Democrat Dominion machines don't have a glitch. It's a tried and true standard feature about to be exposed and eliminated. Just another way that President Trump is keeping his promise to drain the swamp. And when he's through, well, I'll let the president tell you. And when I'm reelected, the best is yet to come. This is the moment where we rise up and take our country back. And Trump's second term, it's going to be epic. What?